Well, hi, and welcome to Tuesday, the 5th of May. Uh, May is underway, and we're in pretty good shape um, in Western Area Health. Uh, there's been 45 people who've tested positive to COVID-19, 44 have recovered, and one in Orange has passed away. That leaves no active cases as of yesterday's news. Which is good news for us. However, loneliness continues to be a theme. And uh, as much as 20% of people in the US, uh, even before COVID-19, have described themselves as lonely. And, of course, research shows that loneliness does have a negative impact on our physical and our mental health. So what should we do if we're feeling a little lonely? Well, I think we need to start by being a friend to other people. And we might do that by praying for other people. 1 Thessalonians 5 and verse 11 says, So encourage each other and build each other up just as you are already doing. So ask someone, how can I pray for you? And then choose to pray for them regularly. And when you pray regularly for that person, uh, your empathy for that person and for other people increases. Secondly, start having some honest conversations. Again, Proverbs 13.20 says, He who walks with the wise grows, but a companion of fools suffers harm. Relationships are built on trust, and trust, of course, goes both ways. Don't just talk about yourself. Ask a lot of questions. Uh, listen to what other people are saying, and don't judge them. The more you invest in each other, the more you'll enjoy your times together. Thirdly, start serving other people, and this is so important. Hebrews 10.24 says, Let us think of ways to motivate one another to acts of love and good works. Serving other people helps us beat loneliness by taking the focus off ourselves and focusing on other people. Lots of people in this time have lost their jobs. But you know what? Lots of places who rely on volunteers have lost volunteers. That's right, Meals on Wheels, for example, has, have lost a lot of elderly people who volunteer to deliver meals. Uh, they're healthy, but they're in that vulnerable group, so they've dropped out of volunteering and dropped out of contact with other people. Maybe it's your opportunity to give them a hand or some other group that are in a similar situation. And fourthly, take the initiative to invite other people. Romans 12.10 says, Love one another deeply, honour others more than yourselves. So when we take the initiative to invite others, we connect with them. And connection is the thing that's important at the moment. Connection is the thing that points us away from loneliness and towards relationship. At the moment, we can connect with people. We can actually, in limited numbers, two people I think it is, actually visit somebody else. So this is the opportunity to take the initiative and maybe to invite someone else to your house or to see if they're, they're in a comfortable place for you to visit them and make that physical connection. It's, a, it's progress. Uh, let's progress wisely, but let's ensure that we overcome loneliness and connect with one another. Let me pray for you. Father, this day we pray that you'd help us connect wisely, and we pray that as we move forward uh, into positive territory, that you would help us to remain in that positive place. Uh, we think, Father, of uh, tomorrow shops that are, that are opening for the first time in a couple of weeks. And we pray that this tentative moving forward would continue. We pray, Father, for those who fall through the cracks of the government help and other welfare schemes. And we pray, Father, that they might come under your notice and under your care. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Again, I thank you for listening. And I pray and encourage you to connect with other people and to do that wisely. Bye for now, and don't forget, 
connect with us next Sunday for Mother's Day.